Please all stand and let us sing our entrance song. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, in the love of God, in the communion of the Holy Spirit, be with you all. And with your spirit. So my dear brothers and sisters, let us now acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, Almighty God, that we may celebrate the heartfelt devotion these days of joy 
which we keep in honor of the risen Lord. In that what we relieve in remembrance, we may always hold, hold to in what we do. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please all be seated for the liturgy of the word. The Samaritan's reception of the faith and the gift of the Holy Spirit means that salvation is offered to all peoples, regardless of race and creed. The first reading. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Philip went down to the city of Samaria and proclaimed the Christ to them. With one accord, the crowds paid attention to what was said by Philip. When they heard it and saw the signs he was doing, four unclean spirits crying out in a loud voice came out of many possessed people and many paralyzed or crippled people were cured. There was great joy in that city. Now, when the apostles in Jerusalem heard that Samaria had accepted the word of God, they sent them Peter and John, who went down and prayed for them that they might receive the Holy Spirit, for it had not yet fallen upon any of them. They had not only been baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Then they laid hands on them, and they received the Holy Spirit. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Shout joyfully to God, all the earth. Sing praise to the glory of His name. Proclaim His glorious praise. Say to God, how tremendous are your deeds. Let, let all, all the earth, earth cry out to God with joy. Let all on earth worship and sing praise to you. Sing praise to your name. Come and see the works of God, his tremendous deeds among the children of Adam. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. He has changed the sea into dry land. Through the river they passed on foot. Therefore, let us rejoice in him. He rules by his might forever. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Hear now all who fear God, while I declare what he has done for me. Blessed be God who refused me not my prayers or his kindness. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Peter encourages the Christians who are misunderstood and persecuted because of their faith. Suffering with a clear conscience unites the believers with Christ who suffered for the sins of the unjust. The second reading. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, sanctify Christ as Lord in your hearts. Always be ready to give an explanation to anyone who asks you for a prison for your hope. But do it with gentleness and reverence, keeping your conscience clear, so that when you are maligned, do so defame your good conduct in Christ. May himself be put to shame, for it is better to suffer for doing good, if that be the will of God, that for, than doing for evil. For Christ also suffered for sins once, the righteous for the sake of the unrighteous, that, that he might lead you to God, put to death in the flesh, 
he was brought to life in the spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all stand to honor the Holy Gospel.